National Real Estate Post. Happy Friday, everyone. Before I get started with a special little tip for you today, I wanted to remind you that, look, you got to get into the reverse mortgage space. You just got to. So many people are eligible. It's just a great tool to have in your tool belt. And Liberty Home Equity Solutions has so many different levels that you can get involved. They're just so great to work with. They've got a webinar December 13th to look at reverse mortgage numbers. Let's look at the reverse mortgage math. And it's gonna be really educational. Click this banner you see right here, again, December 13th. Over on your right, you might have to scroll down a little on your desktop. If you're on your mobile device, just scroll all the way down past the comments, you'll see their banner there. And if you're watching us on social media, LinkedIn or Facebook, there's a link somewhere around here. Now on with the show. We're feeling it, man. We're feeling it here at the National Real Estate Post. We're, we're hearing about it. Uh, we're seeing it every day that the market, man, it's just different, right? And it doesn't matter if you're doing loans. It doesn't matter if you're selling real estate. It's just, oh, it's, it's tough, you know? It's a tough market. And I wanted to share a little story with you because uh, amongst all the noise of technology, uh, and, you know, the noise of Zillow, the beast, you know, who's coming in to take all of our business, mortgages and real estate alike, right? Uh, there's something that still stands true that'll never change that none of these these companies can take from us, whether it be the Zillows or the Amazon mortgages or Amazon real estate, whatever, none of these companies can take away from what I'm about to share with you today. And I'm gonna give you a story that uh, I think is pretty cool. So about seven or eight years ago, my wife and I were in a grocery store, Raley's, in Vacaville, California. Before we were going home, we were stopping there to pick up some items, and we're in the line, the checkout line, you know, and we're we're standing around, and we're, you know, we're looking at the, hey, should we get some uh, salted pistachios, or, you know, maybe the white chocolate Reese's peanut butter cups, or what have you, and there's an older fella behind us, and he was probably in his 70s, a cute little old guy, you know, he's just, I noticed he's, staring at us and he's smiling at us, right? And so we're waiting. I, I keep kind of looking over my shoulder and I was like, this guy's staring at us. And my wife notices too. She gives me the eyes like, what's up with this guy, you know? And so finally the guy looks at us and he goes, excuse me. And we're like, yeah, you know? He goes, you two seem like nice people. And we go, <laughs> well, you know, we like to think so. You know, he says, you look like really nice people. You know, he says, my wife and I, we have a travel agency. We don't have a lot of customers, but the customers we have, they're all really nice people. And that's because we only like to work with nice people. And you two seem like really nice people. And we go, well, <laughs> that's very nice. Thank you. We're very flattered. Thanks a lot, man. He gives us his card. And he says, here's our card. If you ever need any travel agency work done, you know, just give us a call. We said, okay, man, thanks. We pay our, you know, bill or whatever. And we walk out of the grocery store and we go, that was kind of weird, huh? And she goes, yeah. And she goes, but you know, we are going to Hawaii in like uh, eight weeks. You know, maybe we'll give this, give them a call. I said, yeah, you know, why not? Sure enough, uh, my wife gives them a call. They book our trip for us to Hawaii. And then they booked a couple more trips since then for us. Uh, you know, it's been a long time since we've used them because their Zillow came in, right? And took care of a lot of things. Uh, but uh, to this day, they're still friends with us. In fact, her and my wife still chat. And if we ever had a trip that was gonna go down that was gonna be kind of more involved and you could just book on, you know, Travelocity or whatever, we would certainly uh, work with her. But here's my point, man. First of all, number one, what a cool strategy, okay? So <laughs> if you're looking for a new way to get some business, try the you look like nice people strategy while you're somewhere. I think that's brilliant. It worked great, by the way. And the other thing is, is just remember, man, at the end of the day, it all comes down to just having more conversations and being able to engage with people on a regular basis and somehow let them know what it is you do for a living and that you're there to help them. If you think about this little guy's little strategy here, it was brilliant, right? Smiling at us, you seem like nice people. We only work with nice people. This is what we do, let me know if you need our help. How, how awesome is that? I don't know, man. All I gotta say is, when the big behemoths come, right, there's the one thing that they can't do, okay? They can't stand in line 
at the grocery store checking out and say, you look like nice people. I like to work with nice people. Let me know if you need my help, right? Well, there you go. A little tip for you. It worked on me and my wife. I'm sure it'll work for you too. The more times you ask for the business during a day, the more chances you have of doing some business, whether it's mortgages or real estate. Something to think about for the weekend. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Leave your comments down below. Forward, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you later here at the National Real Estate Post.